And uh, there were so many ebbs and flows in the game. It, uh, I should imagine it would have been a real good game to watch. Uh, but uh, I thought that was a really significant win to build a team, uh, a team's personality and a team's character and you know a, an identity. And well, you know, we've got a lot of players that have been in the squad, you know, for a few years, and we've obviously lost some major major names in the squad over the last three or four years. And this squad's evolving and and, uh, and trying to create its own identity and wins like this. I think they're big for that. Trailing by six at half time, what was the message to players at half time? Relatively simple, we weren't doing too many things wrong. Uh, I thought Wakefield played with a hell of a lot of energy. And uh, we just needed to fix up a couple of things, which they did. And uh, you know, then it became a really good contest in the second half. Uh, credit to Wakefield, that, you know, that must have been a heartbreaking loss for them. I thought they played really well. You know, exposed us a couple of times, and uh, you know they've been losing games by one or two points just recently, and it's another tight loss for them. And you know, it's an easy one for me to say, but I don't mean to be condescending at all. But I think they should be really proud of, of and it's, it's it's a difficult one to maintain because it's another loss for them. But they're uh, they're a good team, Wakefield. You know, and they proved that today. Brad Dwyer, especially when he came on, he seemed to have a lot of energy and he moved you around the park well. Say that again, sorry. Brad Dwyer, when it came on, uh, had a lot of energy. It seemed to move you around the park well. He was all right. What are you feeling, Jamie Jones Buchanan? What are my feelings for it? Yeah, oh, what am I feeling? Yeah, yeah. yeah. I thought you said what are my feelings for it. What he done? If you think that's a better question. I love him. <laughs> uh, no, he's great. He's great. I think you get this as you get older, and uh, Jamie Peacock certainly certainly got to this stage and others, you know, Adrian Morris and those players that, you know, they don't, they don't waste energy. And he's, uh, he's a hell of, a hell of an efficient player at the moment, but uh, he's not too clever for his own good either, Jones. He's, he's willing to do the hard stuff and willing to, uh, you know, just tackle, tackle the opposition out of the game. And uh, he's, a, he's a major player within our squad, Jones. Your skipper came up with a big com contribution as well, Brian. Yeah, Callum, He's, uh, that was a big knock for him today and a couple of conversions there which would, be, which would have been difficult. Uh, he's in good form, Callum. And I'm not really bothered about his form, to be fair. I'm bothered about where his head's at and where he's at as a captain. And he's relishing the, the role. I, uh, you know, he, his head's in a good place, Callum. It's, it's, it's good to see. And he, he's clearly got a grip of the group. They listen to him, Callum. And anybody who's going to captain this group, you've got to have a certain personality, you've got to have a bit of presence about you. You can't just say the right things, you've got to... It's how you say it and how you command the group, and Callum's doing a great job in that regard. Any injury news after today's game? Uh, no, no, just, you know, one or two knocks, bumps and bruises. Tired, we're tired. A lot of both teams are tired. That's why that game was so entertaining, really, so end-to-end. -end. Uh, we, we, but... Uh, you know, we still miss Ante Milali, who I decided not to play today. Uh, Garbutt, uh, Peter Roo and Cuthbo. You know, you got four big men there, and Keith Galloway retired, and uh, that's starting to show with us. That's uh, you know, we we find it hard when we go through those moments where the ball's in play for a long time, and our middle people who are not massive have to contain the opposition's big people. Uh, I thought we looked tired in, in the first half today, so I wasn't too. I wasn't too animated at half time because I knew there's not much you can do about it. You know, the dynamic of not having all your big men on the field starts to take it all. How would you sum up Easter programme, Brian? Yeah, for us, good. For us, good. And, you know, we uh, a courageous comeback against Huddersfield, you know, to get that draw and, you know, a decent, solid win against Salford. And, you know, to come here after after that and, uh, and be asked so many questions of your energy, which is, that's the, that's the pleasing thing. They showed some guts. It's all right being classy and athletic, and you know being able to outpace the opposition or or be bigger than the opposition. But when you haven't got those things going in your favour, you've got to come up with something else. And you know that's that be the that be the reason they're they're overjoyed in the dressing rooms because they, they know that was a big win for us. Got a different type of challenge against uh, a very strong Wigan team on Friday night. How does a result like that? Help prepare for that game. I don't know. Uh, I, I'm not bothered of that. We'll 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 put this game to bed, and uh, the players will get whatever they've got to do so they can turn up to training in a day or so's time. 
and then we'll start the prep for Wigan. But you're right, it is a big challenge and, and to get up for that and to get the bodies and the minds and the game plan all in place, it's going to be a big week, but uh, let's deal with this one first. How impressed have you been with uh, Richie Myles? Um, how he's adjusted to life? Yeah, he's good, he's good. I may say something a bit more glowing about him during the year, but uh, right now I, th I feel I've just got to hold back because he's doing the job what we signed him for. I think he's... Uh, I think we look at a, a, a cohesive unit with him in. I thought his kicking game was atrocious in first half. And, uh, you know, we've pretty much played with a two out of ten kicking game. And that's one of the things we had to fix up. And, you know, it, it sounds very simplistic, but not easily done. Uh, yeah, he's, he's, he's complimenting this group of players for sure. And those difficult conversations you spoke about the other day, they got even tougher now going forward when the players come back. Yeah. Uh, yeah, we'll be having some of those. Squad management, rather than coaching, needs to be done for the next two or three weeks, I would imagine. I know it's a bit of a cliche, but, Brian, Brian, but, um, but character... Um, is I like a, cliches. Yeah. Do you like... You know, hopefully you like this one. That's me um, being silly, I don't like cliches. Okay. <laughs> um, but character that, that it was shown today, is that, is that something that you, can, that you would take out of it? Would you, do you believe in that as a kind of... Something you would take from the game. Well, I believe, yeah. I, I think every every team will show character. I don't think there's a soft team in Super League. I don't think there's a team that, you know, or a group of players in Super League that, if if shown enough, asked enough questions on the trial line, they'll endeavour to come up with the right answers. It's just whether you do it at the right time and whether as a group you've got that. Uh, uh, I think character is something that you can only be built through experiences like that. I can't give them character, is what I'm trying to say. I can't talk to them and give them character. As, as good as an orator as I might be, or a, you know, I could get the best guest speaker in the world, it doesn't give you character. You've got to go through some experiences, and that's what I'm saying. We need to be faced with these experiences, beating teams 40 points to wherever, most weeks. It doesn't give you character, it might give you confidence, and you might never get tested with it. But uh, for us, and towards the back end of the year, we'll remember this win.